Hey everybody, Rick's here. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to do quick transfers to wood. So let's get to it. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to transfer photo images onto wood. Now what I've done is I've pre-prepared a few pieces of wood. For example, this oval shaped piece of wood here that I got at Hobby Lobby. You can see it still has the barcode on the back. And it's got about two or three coats of acrylic a white paint. And uh, that way the grain of the wood doesn't show through. And I also uh, you can get these nice little rounds, wooden rounds. For example, I got these from Arteza. They sell like a, comes in a box of 25 of these. And I also, on one side, I painted with the white acrylic as well uh, because I had an image on here and I decided I didn't want that image anymore. And so I went ahead and painted that. But you can see on the other side, it has this really nice wood grain. So sometimes you want to keep that wood grain sometimes you don't and so that's what the white paint is for and again here's another round this one here has a little less bark that you see here on this one here and that's been painted white so we have three white painted pieces of wood here and now as far as unpainted pieces uh, one of these little squares you can buy a whole bag of these uh, online many places and here's a, a bigger size with rounded edges. This one has the sharp edges. So we've got uh, five pieces of wood that we're going to transfer images to. So let's start with this oval piece right here. Now my wife, Mrs. Ricks can do it, went out on the internet and found this dandelion. Okay, and you can see that right there. It's a nice little simple black and white pattern and that should work out really good on this white background right here. So here are the things that you're going to need. Number one, you're going to need the quick transfer paper. Information is down in the description area below as to how to acquire it. You simply go to rickscandoit.com and there you can order this paper. It's specially coated printer paper, 8.5 by 11, works uh, you know in any printer however use laser and if you don't have a laser printer go down to your local Staples or Office Max places like that and, and they can print it out for you You just bring them your paper you bring them your files and have them put it on the paper for you otherwise uh, You have a laser printer at home or a copy machine both will work You just put this paper in there and print like you do on any any copy paper or laser paper Okay, so when you print your images, as I have already done, I have some pre-printed images. We have this one right here, and then I have a whole box full that I cut up, and we're going to go and use those for all these pieces of wood. So let's start with this one here. The next thing you're going to need is an applicator like this uh, foam brush and you're going to want to use a gel medium. Now I'm using uh, Blick gel medium. Uh, you can use Liquitex gel medium. Uh, this says Liquitex, but there's Blick in it. I'm just reusing the container. Those are the only two I'm familiar with. If uh, you have a different gel medium, I'm sure it would work, but you'll have to experiment for yourself. But anyway, Liquitex or Blick is the ones that I have used, and they both work great. Okay, so... What you want to do is you want to apply a generous amount because you want the gel medium to still be wet when you apply your image. But at the same time, you don't want it too wet that it just oozes out all over the place. A little oozing is a good thing. Uh, too much of it is a messy thing. It won't hurt the transfer itself, but it will just be a little more cleanup involved there. Okay, so you want to put down a nice generous layer and you know you have enough if it feels wet 
when you're done, you don't want it to be feeling sticky because then it's already partially dried and you're not going to get a good transfer. All right, so now that I have added the gel medium, I'm gonna take my finger here, make sure you have a paper towel available. That's actually good advice. And I'm gonna take my finger here and I'm just going to spread it around to make sure there's no dry spots. And the thing about gel medium, uh, you know, the, it can start to have these little hard bits in it because they, it dries up around the rim of the container. These little bits, as you move them around, can actually scrape the medium off your surface. But with your finger, you can feel for them and get rid of them and so that you have a nice, smooth application of gel medium. And you want to do this to just have that really perfect transfer. Okay, so I can feel that I've got a good amount on here. Not too much, not too little. You're better to err on the side of more than less. Because more you'll still get a transfer, you just have more cleanup. A little piece there I have to get off of there that's kind of irking me. All right. So it still feels wet. I'm sure you can't see that on the camera there. And here's the image that I cut out. I also left this long tab here. It gives me something that I can pull off. And I pre-cut this to the shape of this wood piece just to make life even easier, though not necessary. All right, so you press down so it doesn't move around. And then you want to go ahead and you can see I got a little ooze out right there. That's fine. You want to get this nice and pressed. And I'm going to clean it off my brayer here because I don't want to put it on the back of the paper. You want to keep that gel medium free. Make sure you get good contact. And looking at the clock here, we've already got 10 seconds in. So about 45 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing off. And that's all the time I'm going to need for this. Okay. It's about 45 seconds. Make sure it's pressed down really good during those 45 seconds that you have really good contact. Okay, we're at 35, 10 more seconds. So to get ready, I'm going to make sure that I have a little bit of water on a brush. One of these foam brushes. And I'm going to go ahead and just lightly wet the back. Just really lightly, like so. And you can just go ahead and start peeling. And as you can see, we have a fantastic transfer. And if you look at the paper itself, you can see that it came 100% off the paper. There's nothing on here. All right. Now I did mention that you don't have to use water. However, I have found that the use of a little bit of moisture on the back of the paper allows for a more complete release of the paper, less chance of tearing, but because it, you know, some areas might be a little more dry than others and might hold on a little harder. And if there's little tiny bits that might want to stay on the transfer paper, the water will help it release really nice. But take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is really nice, isn't it? My wife's right over here, so I'm sharing it with her. It was her idea. She wanted to do this one, but look at that. Isn't that nice? All right. It is, it is now dry to the touch. It takes no time at all. And I think she wants to hang this on the wall. So there you go. There's your little thing. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Now, let's do this round wooden thing here. 
And let me just find something to stick in there that will cover it. See, will that cover it? No, will this cover it? Okay, we're going to have something in here that's going to cover that. It's big enough. All right, well, let's do a little Moses and the Ten Commandments here. All right, now, all of these, you'll notice that I have this white on one side. See, they have this white. And that is because I left that on there as a place to pull. You don't have to, but I found it easy to do it that way. So what you want to do is you want to fold back that white area, just like that. Okay, and I'm going to set that right down on there. Okay, that looks good. So again, take your gel medium and put a nice liberal coat right on there. Just add a little more there. I'm going to take my, again, my finger here. Make sure it's, I can fill that. Some areas are already dried. I didn't put much there, so I'm going to move this around a little bit. you want it to be wet remember if any part of this dries before you get the image on there it's not going to transfer all right so still nice and wet but it's a very very thin layer I don't know if you can see that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just center from old man Moses right there in the middle I'm gonna press here so that we can get it to stay without sliding around Put the start the timer on. There it goes. It's counting down from 45 seconds. Meanwhile, I'm going to brayer out towards the edges. Get all the air out and get good contact. All right. Now this wood surface is not that smooth, so if we don't get, if we get little areas that doesn't transfer, that's because there's no contact and this is not going to be able to push the paper into those grooves. Alright, so we need a little water. Oh, you push that? Okay. You know, this water that I'm using here is dirty. Unfortunately, it's got paint in it, so I'm going to have to use some different water. Okay, well, it's been a little over 45 seconds because I was messing with that thing, but let's get this thing peeled off right away. There we go. 100% transfer. 100%. And I'm going to clean up the edges a little bit from the excess glue. But there... There you go. Look at how nice that looks. See? And you can see from the paper here, you have 100% release of the image. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Pretty cool, huh? Well done. Well done. Thank you. All right. Here's one I did the other day. This one here is Noah's Ark. On one of those wood pieces got the bark all around here but there you go all right so we'll put that there let's go ahead and put a thin film of gel medium once again and remember these are laser prints they're not inkjet all right I just want to stress that for everyone watching they ask the question hey can I use my inkjet you can I just wouldn't recommend it you're just not going to get the results that you're expecting and you're definitely not going to be able to do it in 45 seconds. This 45 seconds applies only the laser print because the inkjet print will um, stick to the wood and dry quicker. So you won't be able to release it without flooding it with water for one, which I don't really want to do. All right, let's get a little more on here. Get a little more on here. <laughs> I cracked myself up. All right. So let's get that spread on there all the way to the edges. Okay, because I want a successful transfer. So get that on there.
Okay. Let's see here. I get a little bit more just, just to make sure it stays nice and wet by the time I apply this. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. You'll get the best results if you just get in there and smooth it out nice and thin and wet. All right, that's going to be good enough. Okay, so I'm going to, once again, I'm going to fold back the white area. That's my pull tab. And I'm going to apply this right onto the wood there. Press it down so it doesn't slide around. Start the timer. Okay. And then immediately get to using the brayer. Squeeze out the excess and get any air out of there. Okay. This time I'm going to use my little spray bottle to my water in the cup is actually quite dirty with paint and glue so that's definitely not the secret sauce all right so I think I got that pretty well pressed on there get my bottle here because we're coming up to 45 seconds okay that did shut it off that time one two squirts there we go right there Real quick, just add that water on there like so, and peel it off. There you go. Big old biblical character there. Okay, so now we're going to put an image on this five and an eighth square wood piece. And my wife has chosen this image here. So I printed it out on the quick transfer paper. Now, it's the right height, but it's much longer. So what we're gonna do is I've decided, or actually she decided, that we're going to wanna include this black area here. And there's a little bit of wording down there. And this has been printed mirrored so that when you transfer it, it's, it's all correct. So right there is basically what I'm going to end up transferring. So I want to mark this here because that's what I'm going to cut that off to make this simple to do. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my image out. All right, good. So when I put this on, it'll be right up to the edge, just like this. Generous amount of this stuff here, gel medium. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger. It's a lot easier to do it that way. I make sure I get good coverage. Yeah. So I started off going this way. Now I'm going to go this way. Let's make sure I don't have any streaks or anything that I've missed areas. And I certainly don't want this to dry, so let's get this put on right away. And I think I got good coverage there. Get it pressed on there. I think I got it on there. Let's start that timer. And I'm going to go ahead and just start oozing out the excess. And I obviously got excess here. Try not to get any on the back of this. That's a no-no. Uh, I'm making a mess. <laughs> uh, what a messy guy I am. I use a lot. Better a lot than not enough. But I definitely want to get this thing pressed down really well before the 45 seconds. Because if you go past a minute, you really increase your chance of uh, not getting this thing off the quick and easy way. All right, so it's been on there for the 45 seconds. Time to give it a little bit of a squirt there. Time for the unveiling. Let's 
see I didn't do a perfect job. But it does kind of give it a little bit of a character. Don't you think? A little bit of a rough antique-ish look to it, but... Because I was oozing out so much, I put too much, that by the time I finished using the brayer, the 45 seconds was already up. So I certainly want to get it flattened at least 10 seconds before then, so I can let it sit and transfer. But there you go. It's not a bad transfer, we just left a little bit fringed on the outside. But again, I'm leaving this into the video. I could edit it out, make everything look like it's always perfect, but my mistakes are for your benefit, okay? But still, I think that looks kind of cool. It has kind of a real interesting look to that. Okay, I'm gonna transfer this image that I had sized perfectly for this wood piece or just a little bit larger and so I'm going to go ahead first so I have some way of aligning this let's get some stuff on there some gel media okay all right put plenty of gel medium on here there's no Carefully, make a nice wet film all from edge to edge. All right, now well, that's the best I'm going to do. I should have done this before, but I do it now. I risk my gel medium drying before I get this done, but this is going to give me a way to gauge that I have it on right. There you go. Okay, so I want to brayer this out immediately and uh, don't leave it on for more than 45 seconds. So I'm looking at the clock on the wall. Okay. Need to brayer it really good, especially those edges. I always tend to mess up. Get rid of the excess here if that comes off. But we want this good. Okay, that's 30 seconds, 15 more seconds. This is quick transfer, which is really cool. Not a lot of waiting. All right, 45 seconds. Just get a damp sponge here with water. Go over the back of it like so. Take up the excess. So you don't need it. Less chance of tearing if you take that excess off. And there we go. Okay, so it was a pretty good transfer. I see I left a little bit right there, so I didn't I didn't have any gel medium there, unfortunately. And I always tend to mess up the edges a little bit. It's not too bad. In this case here, you can always just paint the edges. But uh, there you go. Okay, 45 seconds. Nice little wave thing here and you can do whatever designs that you like. All right, now I'm going to take this image right here and I'm going to put it on this piece of wood. Now this is not a very smooth piece unfortunately. It does have some rough lifted areas which will likely affect the transfer but I'm going to do the best that I can. And so I'm going to cut this out all right. 
think that will just fit in there too. But for the quick method, it's gel medium if you want to do that. And you can do that on wood quite easily. As you will see again. No dry spots there except along the edge, which I don't care. All right, I think we're ready to go here. Put this on before everything dries on me. Okay, make sure it doesn't move. All right. some spill out there. Of course you see I'm fussing about everything other than the actual. Okay so that's 45 seconds and we're going to go ahead now and peel this off with a little help with some moisture. So let me get a wet sponge here and just Add just a little bit of water to the back and let it soak in the back there. Should should happen quite rapidly actually. Okay. Alright. Just peel it off. Alright. And so there you go. Using this paper is really great for wood. Really great for wood. It's actually the best thing to use it on. It's just so simple. And we had a complete release from the paper. See? All right. Very rough. I um I didn't sand it down, probably should have, but let's give this a try. Okay. That printer always likes to calibrate itself at the most opportune time. Okay, I had spray painted this and it's pretty rough. And I'm not sure I like that. So what I'm going to do I'm going to add some of this white acrylic paint and brush it on. That's dry enough, so let's go ahead and squeeze some of this acrylic paint on there. Blanco. This should probably give it a little smoother feel, I would hope, too. It feels rough. You can probably hear how rough it is. All right, so this is what I'm putting on there. Let's make sure I got a good amount of coverage there with the gel medium. Okay. Now again, I could come in here and smooth this out with my finger and it'll make a nicer transfer. I'm gonna just do this without and let's see what we get, what kind of results we're looking at here. So, Get you back again here. Okay. Let's start that. All right. I could see the image right through the paper, so I'm only focusing on the image part here.
little bit of water here just to break up the monotony. Okay. That's all it needs. See, I could already tell you, look at that. See? Because I didn't want to smooth it down. Now, let's try something here. Okay. Let's get that water to soak through a little bit more. Now, let's see if we can improve it any. Wouldn't that be interesting, right? Look at that. Okay. Isn't that interesting? Just by wetting it, I improved it. Okay. But there's still little sparkles. See that little bit's not done? Let's try to see if we can recover that. Just for giggles. That's assuming that I even laid it down in the same spot. So, do this again. All kinds of nice experimentation thing going on here. Okay, so let's make sure that that water gets in there. Again, I'm going to dry it up. It always seems to work better when you dry it up. All right, and did we get an improvement? I think we got a little bit of an improvement. There's less of that. And there you go. Okay. Look at that. Okay. That's a really nice transfer. Now, if you noticed when I first started peeling it, this was really fragmented. I mean, it had a lot, a whole lot of these little tiny parts of the image had not transferred across. But instead of pulling it and go, oh, well, what I did was I just laid it back, rolled it some more, added some more water to it to make sure that if any of them needs a little bit of extra help with the moisture, that it will uh, transfer through. And sure enough, with the exception of very little here, that came out really, really nice.